Hey folks, this is Riker, and Developer Kabam is sponsoring me to tell you folks about their upcoming game, King Arthur Legends Rise. So in this video, we're going to showcase some gameplay and talk about some of the game systems in this upcoming game. Now, you might have previously heard of this game under its working title of Project Knights, but now at GDC, it just had its official title revealed as King Arthur Legends Rise. So King Arthur Legends Rise is a turn-based, squad-based collection RPG that takes place in Arthurian times. So you get to meet a lot of familiar characters from the Arthurian mythos. I've always had a sweet spot for the whole Knights of the Round Table thing. The game is releasing on mobile and PC. It'll be fully cross-play, and developer Kabam is really well-known in this space. Ever since, I think it was 2015, they were committed to building AAA mobile games. And that's one thing that I saw right off the bat, was setting this game apart from other collection RPGs. I've played a bunch of them. This one has that level of going the extra mile with a very cinematic quality to it, with trying to ingrain you within the world. You walk around, you move around with your party. It's not just level after level, all disconnected, very gamey. It feels or it makes an effort to make you feel more immersed into the world. I got actually major JRPG vibes from it, reminiscent of, you know, Final Fantasy, where, all right, I'm walking around with my little party. Sometimes I need to change who my main hero is to interact with an NPC. Like, here's this a little girl who is afraid of the big man, so you swap to a less threatening member of your party, uh, you know, a woman, so that she has a motherly approach with the child, and now the child is willing to interact and give you the quest. The combats themselves bring this extra degree of cinematic flair to them. And there's an extra layer of strategy to commanding your squad in combat that I don't typically see in this kind of game where instead of every individual hero on your team having their own cooldown for their specific skills, it's a shared resource in your party. So your heroes have skills. Some of those skills cost one action whereas some might cost more. And so you have a, a finite amount of actions to consume throughout your turn, and so you have to decide, okay, do I want this character to use his special power this time, or do I save that? Do I make him use his less expensive power so that I can use my more powerful power on my next character? It brought in an extra level of tactical turn-based play that, again, was more familiar to me from actually CRPGs or JRPGs as opposed to from the typical collection RPGs that I've seen on mobile. So here, let's see how well we do in this fight with... Creep... Oh my goodness. Villainous Rosier. Maniacal... Okay. Alright. Alright. Creepy horror lady. No, come on. <laughs> okay. That's a great start. That is a great start. Alright, Arthur. Um... Ferocious Flame. Yeah, I want to take out the adds first. I'm figuring they might heal her or something. Uh, my Archer I can go with... Yeah, I'm going to focus down the guy on the left. I'm going to focus down him. Um, Just taking that one at a time. I assume that they have less health than she does. Um... I do want to use one of my big AoEs. Oh, he's almost dead. To hit all of them at once. Yeah, okay, that, those guys do some kind of weird buff. What was that? Alright, now... Let's see, that's his AoE. I want to use that. Yes, okay. So, there we go. Action economy in our favor now. Ouch. Didn't she already go? I guess this, she's got a like, really high initiative. Alright. What is she, is she doing something again? Oh my god. <laughs> What is this? Okay, okay. Um, Can I get through that guy's shield on the right? I want to take him down next, but I don't know that I can penetrate that. Let's try... Dang, no, okay, that was a waste. Ah, uh, I'm gonna regret that. Okay, well, I'm gonna go for her in the meantime, just to not waste actions, but... Yeah. Okay, wait, is he buffing her again? No, he's not. Okay. Alright, at least he didn't buff her again. Um, should I use my Protect? Nah, just DPS her down. Alright. 
Oh no. Uh, uh, oh my. Oh goodness. Oh. Okay. 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 Um, I should use my guard. <laughs> I'm Hector. Should I use my guard? Because Arthur's my strongest hero. If he goes down, I'm screwed. No, 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 wait, wait, who's she attacking? Is she attacking K? She just heal- Ouch, okay, K's in a bad spot. Alright, we can take down the guy on the right. And then we just gotta take care of Crazy Horror Lady. Do some damage to both of them. Alright, we got this. Easy. Easy. Yeah, yeah, laugh it up, you're dead. You're so dead. No! Oh, come on! What is this? No! <laughs> come on. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm protecting Arthur. I can't lose- if- I can lose my other guys, I can't lose Arthur. He's my highest level, I have all my best gear on him. Also, he's King Arthur. I mean, he's the freaking king. Um, a K's gonna go down. Ooh, nearly. I, should, I got a bunch of bleeds. That crazy horn lady is giving me bleeds. Is she attacking Hector right now? Thank goodness she would have taken out K. She's attacking twice? What is this? Unfair. She better not heal again. I gotta take her down before she heals again. Okay, K's about to drop. Arthur is almost dead. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's so close! Alright, we got this. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Yeah. So, you can see there the, uh, <laughs> the decisions to make on how to make the- how to utilize the resources, um, amongst your different characters. So your main objective in the game is to rebuild the realm of Camelot. And while you're doing so, you're going to be running into familiarly named heroes. All familiar if you know Arthur in Legend. You got King Arthur himself, of course. Then we have K here. And if there's anyone that you're not familiar with, well, you can read up on the lore yourself, but Sir Kay was the Seneschal, technically King Arthur's foster brother. In the game, we got a bit of a, a different interpretation. It's foster sister. Then we have Sir Hector, who was the father of Kay. And you have, of course, some fully original characters that are nonetheless tied in with the lore. Not only will you be leveling up your heroes, but you also will be finding loot, equipping them with various items. You can even find different relics to equip your heroes with. Of course, we have Excalibur, but there are other weapons that you can find as well. And depending on which one you equip, you can see that his skills are changing. My camera's not quite covering it, thankfully. But these skills down there, these are the different skills that might differ depending on what weapon you're equipping your hero with. So for instance, Excalibur's five vigor attack, his ultimate, will damage all enemies. But over here on Breath of Diana, while well, this one instead is going to buff all allies. So if you want to check out King Arthur Legends Rise for yourself, see if you can pull the sword from the stone, click the link in the description, wishlist the game on Steam to stay up to date with news about it. And if you want to try it out before it actually releases, you can participate in the open beta test that's going to be available on Google Play on Android in select regions starting March 27th. Thanks for watching. Special thanks to Kabam for sponsoring this video. And stay tuned for more gaming content.